Welcome to In Focus. Tonight with us we have Caleb Martinez and Anna Krachun. They are both grad students, second year grad students in our Puppet Arts program. Now, can you tell us about the Puppet Arts program, how you heard about it, and how you've been involved with it? Both of us or just me? Yeah, both of you can talk, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I come from Romania. Uh, that's my home country. And uh, I am here through a Fulbright Scholarship. Uh, I heard about the program through them and uh, just w went for the ride. And uh, I've been here for one year and a half or almost. And it's, it's amazing. It's, a, uh, it's the only program in the country right now. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it opened my mind. Yeah, it's, yeah. The only, it's the only graduate program in the country. Uh, West Virginia has a BFA but we're the only ones that have a BFA, an MA, and an MFA. Okay, yeah. and how did you hear about it? Um, Where did you do your undergraduate? I went to, I did my undergraduate at University of Houston, uh, which UConn and U of H are now in the same conference. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, football is U of H and basketball it's UConn. Yeah, but, so you um, did a good mix there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I studied acting in undergrad, okay. and uh, I worked in Houston um, as an actor after I graduated for eight years. Uh, I got involved in stage combat okay. and, and uh, choreographing violence for the stage, um, some film stuff, and then I got into voice acting for anime. Okay. And um, <laughs> it was through those two things that led me to puppetry. And I started working with a company down there. Uh, did a few shows with them. And the artistic director of that company said, you should go to UConn. You'd really like it there. Yeah. That would be a good program for you to continue in this. Um, I didn't even know it existed, so I looked it up and applied, and I'm yeah. here now. Perfect. And in your first year, since you are second year grad students, what have you gotten as experience so far? Oh, man. In the first year, I made a marionette. What? We made, like... Yeah, we yeah. have uh, <laughs> classes of uh, construction, uh, mar marionette, uh, hand shadow theater, shadow theater, okay. hand puppetry, um, and uh, also directing and and performance. We have a new teacher, um, and she came in with this with these classes. And yeah, as I said, it's it's a really really wonderful experience. Um, Perfect. Yeah. yeah. No. So I hear that now. So it's, it's so much actually to to say it all. In yes. A few words. Yeah. It's more than just the Muppets. Yes. Really. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot. It's 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 an entire discipline all in itself, all encompassing. It's everything and it's nothing like it. Right. It's, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that the um, the creator of the Muppets, Deborah Hertzberg, graduated from the program. So. I mean, you're in a great program yourselves with yeah. that. Um, but I hear that you're putting on a show. Uh, it's called Gladys Life of Confident, Confidence. Confinement. Confinement. The there we go. Okay, perfect. Yes. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, oh, yes. When I arrived here last year, um, well, probably not everybody knows that the puppet arts complex where we have our classes is in the depot campus. Yes. And uh, Depot Campus used to be um, the area in which uh, Mansfield Training School used to function. Mansfield Training School uh, was an institution for um, people with uh, different challenges. Okay. And uh, now the buildings in Depot Campus are abandoned and in ruin and in decay. Okay. So last year when I arrived here, um, well, I was interested in, in Romania, um, in this area, let's say, of um, not necessarily insanity, but uh, this when when people are are, are challenged in a, in, a, in a certain way. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I came here and I saw the buildings, and something uh, attracted to me to them, to see uh, what what is the story behind this place. And I started doing research, and I came upon the story of a woman who was uh, committed there, and she spent 42 years of her life inside. And yeah, um, and she tried to reach out. She uh, wrote letters, uh, but nobody, you know, nobody noticed her, okay. and so she was kept in there uh, against her will, let's say. 
um, and she was released. She was co committed when she was 29, and she was released when she was 71. Oh, wow. um, so this this whole story started to I don't know to spark something. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I started doing research on, on her life. Um, I found articles about her, when she got out, what happened. She had a lawsuit against Mansfield Training School. But my performance is not necessarily uh, um, bio according to her biography, according to her life. It's more about uh, what she felt and uh, you know, what were her hopes and dreams in, inside, uh, inside the, that place and for that whole period of time. So I was, I had questions, I don't know, did she, was she in love with somebody, you know? Did so she more the untold story. Yeah, okay. yeah, so, so it's, it's my vision, my interpretation of this uh, inner world okay. uh, of hers inside this, the, this, uh, this place, which, uh, sad to say, wasn't such a nice place. I mean, it, has, it doesn't have a very nice reputation, unfortunately. It was closed down and it was abandoned. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, so when they left, they left everything there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, um, what Caleb is saying, um, last year when I started doing research, I found uh, a, a photography album on the internet uh, by uh, James Mick, uh, Mickley. And uh, th those photos inspire me because they, they are artistic photos in black and white with, I don't know, uh, because all the furniture is still in the buildings. Oh, wow. They left, okay. there, there are curtains at the windows. I mean, if you pass through the buildings, it, it's a very, people fear it. Yes. They say that it's scary, yes. that it's haunted, <laughs> mm -hmm. and all that. But, you know, uh, my, my, my desire was to, to go beyond that and see w what happened in there, you know, what were the, the people, actually feeling inside there. So this, this uh, photographs inspired me and so the, the, the piece started, started uh, growing yeah, with, with the inspiration of those black and white photos and uh, there are photos of, of chairs next to windows with curtains. So uh, yeah, if you're, you're going to see the piece, it's all about uh, her world and how it was, she was confined and uh, her universe is pretty much around one chair. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's that's there's a lot. The concept is yes. pretty big, so I don't know if uh, that's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Now, when is the show? Uh, the date and times and location. Well, oh. the show is happening at uh, Ballard Institute Museum of Puppetry, um, November fourteenth and fifteenth at seven thirty. And that's located in the downtown uh, storage, correct? Yeah, at One yes. Roy Circle. Yep. Um, we share a space at BIMP with the bookstore. Yep. And uh, so it's going to be in that space in the back. Um, limited seating, and uh, yeah. it's first come, first serve. <laughs> perfect. And it's open to the public, it's open anyone? To everybody. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. perfect. All right. And, and free, free, free. Yeah, free admission. Free admission. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you yeah. for coming on thank the you show. So much Great. For having us. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for tuning in.